We are moving on to Harrisburg, where four Democrats were trying to unseat incumbent Mayor Eric Pappenfuss, but that did not happen. Here's how the numbers stacked up. Pappenfuss pulled away from Gloria Martin Roberts. He ended up with 49% of the vote. She had 38, Jenny Jenkins behind with nine, and Lewis Butts with 2%. Mayor Pappenfuss has declared victory. News 8's Becca Hendrickson's covering this race tonight, and she joins us live from the Pappenfuss headquarters. The mayor addressed a small crowd of his supporters here at his bookstore, the Midtown Scholar, and he said that there's a lot of work still to be done, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that he won only 49% of the vote. He said that that's leading to the realization that there's still a very divided city here in Harrisburg, and I have Mayor Eric Pappenfuss here with me right now. More on that, it's still a divided city. What needs to be done to heal that? Well, uh, I'm going to be reaching out to everyone to try and bridge the racial divide that we have in Harrisburg and to help convince everyone that uh, the vision of this administration is inclusive and uh, I believe in us all working together for a better Harrisburg. You have the Democratic nomination right now, but the, the race isn't over just yet. There still could be Republican write-ins or there could be other independent competition as well. Yeah, we'll know about the Republican write-in tomorrow. I'm hoping I'll win that as well. Um, and there's certain to be independence in the fall. So we're not taking anything to, for granted. We're sort of subdued tonight because there is an awful lot of work to do here in the city. And tomorrow I'll be rolling up my sleeves and going back to the office and getting to work. Of course, after you get a little bit of sleep. Thank you. Sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Pappenfuss, <laughs> for you. speaking with us. We'll continue to follow what's happening next here in Harrisburg with those write-ins throughout the next couple days. Live in Harrisburg, Becca Hendrickson, News 8.